Hello Capricorn. This is your reading starting November 2020. It'll be like um, a five card spread reading because the energies are changing pretty quickly. Mercury just went direct. Mars is going to go direct really soon. So the energies are going to constantly be going uh, a little bit, you know, um, unpredictable for a lot of people. So we're going to just take it a little bit at a time here for this month, for November 2020. Uh, Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. New energies, positive energies. I'm using the Naked Heart cards. And I got to be careful how I shuffle them. Because the last time I tried split shuffle them, you know how they fans shuffle them. I bent them up, you know, quite a bit. The sun. It says happiness will come again. Um, the sun will shine in your favor. I've been saying this. But we're going through all these energies also. So you may not feel this way at the time. But we'll find out. Happiness is coming in. Brighter days. That's what it's saying. Past energy. Some of you are dealing with the Father of Swords. It uh, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. More like a leap. Well, could be a, could be a, someone that's really sharp with their words, a straight and blunt, but they're not, they're doing it for, you know, a positive stance. They're not trying to be mean or anything. They're just trying to be honest. It's almost like a tough love type, type of person. And I, I feel that they're kind, okay, to who you were dealing with in the past. The naked heart. The obstacle which you're supposed to overcome is, uh, following your path, doing what you should do, do what you feel that you need to do. Follow your heart. That's what it is. And maybe you're not following your path. Maybe you're being hindered. And saying, go ahead and follow what you want to do in life. Go towards what you want to do. Current environment, breaking free from negative situations, um, oppressions. So for some people, it may be addictions or just breaking free from things that are tying you down, chaining you down. What is coming towards you? Seven of Pentacles. Someone may want to reinvest with you on the outside. Someone that had a failed situation with you at one time may want to reinvest something. You know, grow roots with you. Um, make sure uh, go into a project with you when it comes. If it's finances, if it's a stability, they want to um, things to become more stable with you in the long run. We'll find out. Because I will clarify these. You know, it changes the story up. And I will, like I said, be giving the love reading. In the end, you got the Mother of Cups. Some of you are going to be dealing with an older water sign in the end. Or um, getting emotions together. Or emotions will pan out for the better. Um, people will start feeling more calm in your life. Or you will be feeling more calm. Like I said, some of you may be dealing with a water sign that's a little bit older. Let's find out what's going on here. We'll clarify like I said, I'll be giving that mini love reading, but this is telling me that you need to follow your own heart and unchain yourself from a situation that you may feel like is hindering you from taking off on a different direction. But in, in, the, in, in the past, we got the Father of Swords. It could be an air sign or someone older, someone wise, straight to the point, not mean in any way. But maybe they appear that way at some times because they're extremely honest. And they put their, you know, they put themselves out there. They're not going to mince words. It's like tough love kind of people. So Father of Swords in the upright. I need two cards for Capricorn. Seven of fire. Someone may be, you may feel like someone's a little defensive. Four of air and may have taken a break from them or wanted to get away from them. But I do not see them as trying to be extremely cruel to you. Um, they may come across that way. Because I'm feeling an energy you feel like this person is really harsh. Because um, they, they did a seven of fire towards you where they got really defensive. Or maybe you got defensive towards them because they were very blunt. And maybe you had to take a break or recover from something. The naked heart is following your own path, following your heart. It's an obstacle you're supposed to overcome. You're supposed to go towards following your heart. Because you've been putting something on hold. You've been putting things on hold for maybe other people or other situations. Or because of the way the world has been. So the naked heart in reverse. I need two cards please for Capricorn. Jupiter, Wheel of Fortune, change the situation around. You're able to, okay? Fourth Earth, start gathering what is yours, taking um, 
finding value in what you want to keep and keep it close to you and change your situation around and start what you want to start in life. Um, if you have dreams, go for them right now. I know you feel like the world is chaotic, and it is, okay? But it says here it's going to start changing a situation to break free. You got the devil here, and really that's a Capricorn type card. But it's in reverse saying break it free from chain situations, things that have been interfering in your life that don't allow you to break free to go towards what you really want to do in life. So the the devil in the up or reverse, I didn't say Lula. Um, it's in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Capricorn. So what's going on here? The Hierophant. Society in itself. And the Chariot. So, yeah, you're trying to... You want to follow your heart, and you should. It's saying to do so, even though things are a little off balance, things are interfering, chaining you, you feel like you're chaining you, society is not acting the way it's supposed to, and things are a little chaotic, but it's saying take the bull by the horns and, and, and go towards what you're wanting, even if this is happening, because it will pan out, something is going to reinvest in you, something that possibly failed before, or life has been like kind of not giving you what you're wanting. Now the seed is going to be planted to where it needs to grow. It's time to start reinvesting. And someone or situations may reinvest in you. So the seven of pentacles in the upright. Two cards. For Capricorn. I'm thinking you're supposed to follow your dreams. I really am. Let's start to go forward again. Queen of Earth. The sun. Yeah. Even if uh, I see a, a situation that had failed you, it could have to do with an earth sign or, like I said, stability all in, in general. The outside world was not helping you. It was not shining on you. Whatever you were dealing with before did not pan out. And now it's time to start reinvesting either in it or something else. Something that failed. Re, regroup. Rethink. Mercury has gone direct. So now it's time to go forward with something. You already thought about it before. Now it's time to act on it. And when Mars um, goes direct, it's time to um, definitely go forward to work towards it hard. Okay? Because that's when these energies are going to turn again. And I'll be able to read for you again if life don't get in the way. So if I don't read for any reason, always realize there's a reason because something is going on. And I will let you know. Um, eventually, but I do feel like you're supposed to be working towards something, reinvesting, um, breaking free, realizing that you need to do something right now and follow your dreams. It's saying to follow your dreams. You are going to deal with the Mother of Cups energy. Like I said, it could be a person. It could be emotions. It could be somebody that is going to be nurturing you in some way, but I need two cards for the Mother of Cups for Capricorn. Lovers could be someone of a partnership, an ace of water, something, something of the emotional nature you need to take care of in a partnership. And maybe this is the thing you're supposed to be reinvesting in. Because I do see the Mother of Cups in, in the upright where that's the main energy. Why are you supposed to go for a more emotional contentment, emotional situations that are more um, calm and going towards things that you love and care for? Because... Um, you were dealing with partnerships, like a lover situation. Could be like um, a Gemini type energy. But I do see where the Ace of Water, where someone needs to get their emotions in check and restart and follow their dreams and realize they need to break free of thinking that that will not happen. And it's time to start. Mercury's gone direct. Mars is going to go direct. We're having eclipses that are going to change your life. So it's more or less to embrace it and not to fight it because I do see where it's telling you to reinvest in your life. It's that time. It's that time, Capricorn. I've been saying that, okay? Queen of Water again. Someone needs to reinvest in their emotions, reinvest in the things they love and the people that they care about. You know, it's that time. Everything's been put on hold. Everything that has been put on ice, it's time to start moving forward. That's what it's saying. You know, regain your happiness, turn your fortune around, take what is yours. You know, let me give you a love reading on this. 
And I'll be giving you a different reading because the energies are going to change. Again, once um, Mars goes direct and we have eclipses going on, and then we, the energies change again. So that's when we know more. We don't want to go too far into the future because we know it's just going to change. But I need three cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for love. Starting the first part of November. Around November 5th it starts. Could be even earlier than that because we're starting a little late. But I like to start it as November 3rd when Mercury goes direct. These energies for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising when it comes to love. Three cards, please. And you can pick whatever you're compelled, you know, what is drawn to you. But I try to bring them all together for secondary energies, and I will be given a twin flame message with this. But this is the Moonology cards to tell us more for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first part of November. New energies, positive energies for Capricorn when it comes to love. We need to know about love for Capricorn. And I do feel that you're supposed to be following your dreams now and that you'll find these energies changing where before you were kind of stuck, you know? Three cards, which your twin flame is feeling about you. For Capricorn, something rising. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What do they want to do towards you or say towards you in some way? Find out what's going on with that. If you pick this section, this person is still trying to find themselves. So you're dealing with a person, you're hoping they're coming back in your life. It's unlikely you're going to do that in the first part of November, okay? Because they're healing. Someone is healing that you're dealing with, and maybe you're healing. And maybe you won't have nothing to do with them the first part of November. I do see you trying to break free, finding what your dreams are, supposed to be following your dreams. But it says here they're still, they're still trying to find themselves. So if you're expecting someone the next couple weeks in November, we'll read them again, okay? Um, they're still healing from something. So... Um, if you're wanting to hear from them, let's find out in the mid mid November. Okay, it's not that they're not going to come back. It's just there's something going on with them that it's kind of off, and and they're um, not in their right section of mind right now to work towards something. They're trying to recover. You have big happy changes coming towards you. Okay, Capricorn. I've been saying this for a lot of Capricorns. I told you would be taking some time, and by the end of the year, you'll start feeling. A lot of relief. So big happy changes are coming. The energy is gaining momentum. I, I got this for what? What? Um, Scorpio. The energy, ener and I do shuffle these. You see me shuffle in front of you. The energy is gaining momentum. I know it is. Okay. It's starting to pick up now. Okay. We've been waiting for this. And if you're dealing with a twin flame, the ones that pick this, remember I'll bring them all together later. Um, they care too much about what others think right now. And that's why they're not committing. They're kind of into themselves and the materialistic things of the world. So if they haven't said anything or took you out or asked you out more or been the way they should be, it's because they're really thinking about family and friends, what they think about them. It's not that you're terrible. It's just they're thinking that um, their family's got high expectations. And maybe family and friends are interfering just a little bit too much. But changes are going to occur. And the whole energy is going to change. So we'll find out more as November goes. There is an opportunity for love coming up if this is what you're wanting, okay? Believe in it. Because you're thinking it's impossible that you'll find a love that you're wanting. But the opportunity is coming up, so you better get ready and believe in it. Put your mindset in the right order, okay? And if you're dealing with a twin flame and you um, pick this section, they don't know if they're cut out for this. They're not exactly the most dependable type people, the committed type people, and they just don't know if they can handle the energy or mature enough to handle the energy right now, okay? So let's find out what's going on. So I, I got these three cards together, and they sound like they're a lot alike, okay? Um, it's unlikely whoever you're dealing with is going to come forward in the first couple of weeks in November, first part of November, because they're still healing. There's something going on with them. There's something they're dealing with, and they're still trying to find themselves. They're kind of lost, okay? So it's not you, okay? Don't feel that it's you. You've got positive, happy changes coming in a love life, so believe in it. The energy is going to be gaining. It's going to be coming quickly as the year closes, okay? 
And um, they're, they're just too busy what people think about them, you know, with their love life right now. People are just interfering, I feel like that. And they're trying to find themselves. I feel, I feel a very low self-esteem type situation here. You got opportunity for love coming up, okay? Um, I do say, see it where you need to follow your heart, break free from things that are chaining you down, and um, reinvesting in yourself. Because I do think things that are positive will come more come in and become more emotionally sound okay but there is an opportunity for love coming up so believe in it don't disbelieve in it don't go back to things to where you think things are going to work out for you where things are interfering where you can't follow your heart where you can't follow find love or where you want to go again okay because this person is just not owning up to you um you deserve more because this person is worried about who, what people think of them. Um, they're always asking people, you know, control my life. Should I see this person, that person? Capricorn, you want someone who's more in control of their life. And um, if a person is going to come in your life, realize that they got to pick you. Okay? They've got to pick you. And even if they're trying to find themselves, if they want to find themselves, they have to find it with you. Okay? And this is the energy I'm getting. I will give another energy for... Mid-November, if things pan out, I've been going some things in my family. Yes, I've been expecting them. It's been in my astrology, been in my cards, and I knew they were coming up. So I'm going to deal with them, but i got to tell other people around me what is going on, and I will. Okay? So this is your energy. It will be changing pretty quick, okay, mid-November. And hopefully we all get together um, after mid-November and get more information. So I'll talk to you then, okay? Bye.